everyone, welcome back to Mass Effect. We were headed down into this, what I think is a mining tunnel. We are on some planet. Whoop, looking for Liara Tassoni, the daughter of that creepy woman who was with Saren. So, hopefully, hoping she has answers. There is. Contact. Yeah, I saw it. It's just I can't. Ah! Am I killing it? Am I hitting it? Partially hitting this. Would you get, get out of my way! Okay. Oh, there's one over here, too. Did we get them all? Area secure. Okay. There's probably more of them somewhere. Let's put our guns away. I don't like having my running around with my gun out, so there's an elevator. I never visited a Prothean ruin before. Aside from the citadel, I mean. What is this? Okay. There must be some sort of force field then. That one. There's more. Whoa. That goes down a long way. Okay. The other ones don't have force fields on them, so let's go check it out. What are they? Hmm. This elevator's grown. or something. Oh right, they leveled before. It reminds you of a bathroom floor? <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Alright, let's level up. We've leveled twice. So... We need to make sure we don't forget to do that because I do want to max out my Intimidate and my Charm. Ooh. Yes! Unity! Good, I can restore dead squad members. Now, one more point into combat armor. Oh, yay! I unlock first aid. So next time I level I can get... Restores 40 health for all wounded party members. Instead of Metagel? No, it does use one Metagel. So, mm, just using Metagel doesn't restore 40 health. It restores less than 40 health. Okay. So just when you use it. Okay. Cool. I do need to put points in first aid too. That's definite. A definite must. So, Garrus... Um, he doesn't use this on anybody, though. Let's do... He can wear medium armor once we unlock that. Let's, let's do that. Let's, let's put him... Let's get him medium armor. And let's get him... Ooh, let's unlock sniper rifles as well. So next time he levels... You can get sniper rifles. Let's put one into 
throw... What's stasis? Makes the target unable to move or attack, but also immune to damage. Right, I have to select that for him. I'm not going to be thinking about that, probably. Knocks out an organic enemy for... Hmm. I guess we could use that one. Alright, and then let's max out his sentinel. Alright. Let's go. Oh no! Um... Okay, looks like this is the point of no return, doesn't it? What's this? Uh, hello? What? Could somebody help me? Please? Hmm. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Okay. Dr. Tassoni? Liara Tassoni, I presume? <laughs> Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I am in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Okay, how? There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! <laughs> Um, should I talk to her about her? I can, I, we can wait. Okay, so what can we do? Just any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. A Krogan? Well, how are we supposed to get in? Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna be fighting. Yeah, look, there, there they are right there. There's one. I can see it. Can I shoot it from here? not cover at all. Alright. Lost shield! There's a Krogan with him. You gotta watch out for that Krogan. Watch out, you guys. All targets down. Okay. Those red ones are a little bit tougher. And they... Oh, a mining laser. Huh, so we can blow her up. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Anything? Aha. <laughs> Anti personnel rounds. Combat sensors. Improved sighting. Hmm. Alright. I do I do need to upgrade my weapons. Is that it? I think that's it. Alright, so let's go use this mining laser. Because I have a feeling that is what we're supposed to do. Okay. I 
enter the code. I just happen to have a code. Okay. Try again. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. So, sis, then, no, okay. Okay. Try again. Got it! Woo! So that opened us a way in. Wow, what in the world is this for? Did she tell us what it was for? So this will take us up there to her. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess I gotta talk to her. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Well, it's not really yeah superior firepower. <laughs> we blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Hold on, Commander. Her mother is working with Saren. Can we trust her? I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. Yeah, let's just let her... If help. she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. True. Then she just knows how to uh. operate Prothean technology. Okay. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! <laughs> well, the one we came down on? I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert, he probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? Hmm. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Of course it did. <laughs> We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Um, okay. Joker, get the Norm of the Airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. On ETA eight double. minutes. <laughs> on the double, mister. Not much margin for error. Okay. reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. <laughs> we don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <laughs> and <sighs> hopefully not I die. like your attitude. Here 
is not even helping! What? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's hide. I was just trying to talk to you, Garrett. Let's try a shotgun. Maybe that'll. I can't get up. Okay, I'm stuck. Disabled. Move, Garrus. Move. All right, that's better. What? Was that steam? Is that steam? What was killing me? Okay. Okay, down. I, I really want to switch to my shotgun. Okay, I think it was the steam that was killing me before. I need some help here! Ah! So I can't hide behind these. I'm hit! Uh oh, I'm gonna die again. I am so gonna die again. Oh, I couldn't sprint anymore. I was out of. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna charge up here. Get my shotgun. Move, guys, Garrus. Okay. Shotgun is shotgun is good. That was lucky. <laughs> Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. <laughs> we almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes. <laughs> It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years? Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! <laughs> I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. 
but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. So what did you learn? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. A cycle? What cycle? What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. <laughs> Shut up and I'll tell you. Hmm. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. Okay. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. <laughs> Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. <laughs> I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Uh, she wants to help us. Liara's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. <laughs> was that really necessary, Shepard? Yes. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Maha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, now what? Um, well, 
I suppose we could go... Go see... People. Go, go see Liara, see if she's better. See if she's talked to the doctor yet. Yeah. Dr. Chakwas? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Uh, no. I don't, apparently. I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. I was gonna talk to you about Liara, but I guess I can't. There she is. <laughs> Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Uh, yes. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Yep. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... Uh, yeah. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Yeah, I... you don't seem like the type that Don't would... worry, Liara. <laughs> I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Investigate. So, Benezia. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. You sound troubled. No kidding. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Okay. About Asari. I'd culture. like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Rumors? Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Okay, how is that? Do I want to know how that's possible? I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Okay. What about the other parent? What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Huh. Who was your father? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You don't know? Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pureblood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great <laughs> insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too 
ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Well, okay, you don't know that. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Maybe something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Okay, how do they deal with that? You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I guess we talked about everything. I, I, I used to have the option to ask her a personal question, but I don't anymore. So, okay. I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. Couldn't they, like, have her say, well, I should get going now, instead of, uh, just, I should go. Ugh. Alright, well, let's go see if anybody else will visit with me now. Because you got to check in with them frequently to catch all their dialogues, because, um, they... I think they do talk to you after each major quest is completed, and so Caden might talk now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's stare awkwardly at each other for a few seconds first. Commander, do you have a minute? Oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Yeah. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. <laughs> and the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Yes. Yeah. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or, you know, for justice. Now, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Brain camp? Biotic acclimation and temperance training. <laughs> I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. No, that's okay. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. You doubt it was accidental? Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. Huh, so intentional exposure. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. 
doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Hmm. So, okay, did you have friends? There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. <laughs> Okay. Time to talk then? <laughs> then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Like me? Did you love her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. Oh, okay. So, well, sounds rough. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway. This was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. Yeah, but I want to know. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? Um. <laughs> um. I don't know. I'm not usually. <laughs> Uh, no? Well, what do you think? No? No, I don't. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh... I'll need some time to process that, Commander. <laughs> but, yeah. I'd like that. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that was some flirting going on right there. <clears throat> um... No, I don't actually usually talk to everybody because... What is this? Oh, this is my locker, huh? My locker's up here with- oh. So if I click on it- Okay, yeah, I can click on it. Oh, my recovered items. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to go downstairs and talk to everybody else. I want to make sure I get in my conversations before the next mission because I don't want to miss any of them. sure if we can actually talk to everybody, but let's see. My- because we talked to them already. Commander, how are you? Oh, I guess I can talk to Garrus. Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. I've been just dying There were to several know. reasons, I guess. Yeah? Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Well, yeah, I can imagine. It's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. Really? You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. 
I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Oh, well, that's too bad. Not all Spectres are like Saren, you know. Of course not. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Right. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so let's talk to Rex, I suppose. Probably he might not have anything to say, though. So... No? We've got Saren on the run. Yes. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. <laughs> good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. You knew him? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. He recruited? I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Okay, so... Ship. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Hmm. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Hmm. Alright. So long, Rex. <laughs> Shepard. Okay, so fine. Okay. Ashley. Commander. Can we talk? How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Well... It... <laughs> I believe her. Why would she... I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Can we talk? I guess... Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. What about? Is this duty-related, Chief? No, ma'am. Well, maybe. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? What do you mean? Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You 
don't trust them? You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We... humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Um... by mistreating... How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Not necessarily. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their <laughs> species will always be more important to them than humans are. I wouldn't just sick my dog on it and run. I'd run with my dog. <laughs> Why do you feel like that? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Hmm. You're lucky. I lost my family on Mindoir. Are you related to anyone I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. I read about Mindoir. The Alliance screwed the pooch on that one. Should have had a bigger garrison. Is that why you're out here? To take the fight to the pirates? Uh, wouldn't you? I saw a lot of people die. I can't sit back and let things like that happen. Amen to that. So... It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Just one rotation? That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. <laughs> Avoiding the question, are you? Okay, well, you have to work with aliens. Just so. Alright, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. <laughs> Good. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? Nope. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Who else do we have to talk to? Tally? Let's go talk to Tally. I guess. I don't know if she will have anything else to say, but might as well check. Oh, hello, Shepard. What's wrong? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel... out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? It's... too quiet to sleep? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just the silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. Mm, but you're gonna go back? You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Seren first. Otherwise, 
I might not have a home to go back to. Right. Okay. I should go. <laughs> See you later. I should go. <laughs> yes. You know what I should go do? I should go upgrade my weapons. 